a modern white shark cruises off the Farallon Islands. 20 miles out from San Francisco, these rugged shores are a breeding ground for migrating sea lions and elephant seals. But danger lurks beneath the waterline. Their presence is a magnet for ravenous great whites and for scientists eager for a glimpse at new behaviors. Biologist Peter Pyle has been tracking the enigmatic shark for years. The white shark only comes here in the fall during a three-month or four-month window of the year. Not only do they come to the whole area around the Farallons every year, but around the island, a lot of them come back to the exact same areas. And so essentially you've got a whole bunch of home ranges around the Farallons where the bigger sharks have the areas where probably the hunting's the best, and the smaller sharks can't quite hold a territory like the larger ones can. Where do they travel? How do they breed? Little is known about them, except for their startling savagery. We see a lot of seals right in the coves in the shallow areas, playing around and lounging around. But as soon as they get out to deeper waters, they know they're in a bad area. And at that point, their behavior will change dramatically, and they'll really start to group up and porpoise along at a fast rate. Now, the elephant seals are solitary. We never see them moving together. What we think they do to avoid attack is probably come in low along the bottom where the shark doesn't have a chance of surprising them or rushing down and attacking them without getting hurt itself on the rocks. Working off a small boat, Pyle uses an underwater camera to view the scars and markings of individual sharks and chart their return rate. Every time we get out there and see a shark going by, there's a thrill. This thrill used to be kind of fear-based. We've seen as many as 15 sharks coming and going in and out of that area. And they'll be attracted to the boat itself, especially if it's surrounded by slick and blood. And they'll bite the motor and they'll bite the sides sometimes, but they're not interested in us as food items. Does the great white share these primal urges with his distant kin, the giant from another time? I suspect because its form hasn't changed too much that its predatory strategy hasn't changed too much either. And it's probably always been seals and sea lions or some sort of uh, ancient pinnipeds. Everything's three times the size. You've got megalodon up to 60 feet long. You've got baleen whales that are probably three or four times the size of, of seals and sea lions here. And the thought of a megalodon rushing up grabbing a whale the way that white sharks grab seals here and the amount of blood and the thrashing and you know I also picture perhaps like we see in the white shark eight or nine megalodons all circling around feeding off of this one thing that's been killed. Two million years ago the last of these hunters would go extinct. <laughs> 